I've been hearing on the grapevine that we might be reviewing that Venom Power pre-workout today. You are Mikael Wright. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, welcome back to a, another episode of us, the Review Bros. Thank you for joining us again on another pre-workout review. Um, this time we are reviewing Venom Power by Mikhail Wright and I'd like to say a big thank you to him for sending us a tub down to get it reviewed for you guys out there. You know, we're going to delve into the pre-workout as we normally would um, and we're going to find out its pros and cons and whether it's worth buying for you guys. So stay tuned. Indeed. <laughs> Taste time. And mixability with uh, Mikael Wright. Now, it comes in a, a range of different flavours. Um, those flavours include uh, pineapple, blue raspberry, um, and strawberry kiwi, which we have here. Um, and yeah. tutti fruity, which is actually limited edition, believe it or not. Oh, and did we say bubble gum? No. And bubble gum. So there's five <laughs> different flavours. Um, Tutti Fruity, as, as Craig said, is the limited edition, so if you want that, it's still on the website now, so go now and get it if you want that flavour. It's a two scoop served for max dose, which obviously, as you guys know, we always roll with, and to achieve the 17 gram on each scoop, you need to heap it. So we're going for 34 grams in total, believe it or not. It's a bit insane, we didn't actually realise it was two scoops until we looked a bit closer on the label. And this brings the stats up really nice, so do stay tuned for the effects label section. Price gets battered, but label comes up to a crazy level. It smells apple to me, on smell assessment. Mixability looks okay, you know, don't forget we're not shaking in the shaker, but we do compare them all like this. Mm. There's a couple of small lumps, but nothing, it doesn't look undoable, but let's have a look. Bottoms up. That does remind me of Twisted. It really does. Not identical, but on that line. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say it was as nice as no. Twisted. I was going to say like a three out of five, so it's definitely doable. Mm. It probably is just unlucky that he sent us the, you know. The All the others sound banging, to be like fair. Like try pineapple apple you know, two thirty. Go bubble gum would probably win. Yeah, you I know, agree. You know, use your discretion, guys. Obviously, choose your favourite flavour. You guys have got the choice. I was thinking 3.75. Three and a half in that range somewhere. Can we land on a 3.25 then, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that then. Because mixability wasn't absolutely spot on, so you could argue that it loses a little bit on that. But doable, above average, just not worth shouting about, you know? All right, price segment time with Venom. So off of the official site, this is £30 or $37.54 US dollars. Yeah, so uh, obviously as the pre-workout world goes, you know, that's average price for a pre-workout, 30 mm. quid for 30 servings. Um, but this is where it's interesting. So it's got a label where you'd expect it to be a one scoop only. Um, but it does say you can go up to two scoops. That's the trick. So um, to keep these, these reviews consistent, you've already all probably know. Uh, but for those new viewers out there, we always rate the price of these pre-workouts on its maximum serving. Yeah. So if it says you can go up to three scoops, we price it on three scoops. If it says you can only do one scoop, we'll price it on that one scoop. It is dependent on what the label says. So it says you can go up to two full scoops, which would then cut the servings down in half, down to 15 servings, 15 two scoops. Um, and that's where it does it does uh, kick the price element down for this these guys, unfortunately. So it does fall into um, a one pound ninety nine pence a go if you're doing two scoops. Quite expensive, you say? Yes, you'll be <laughs> right. Um, that falls into our consistent scale at only a one point five out of five score. But I'd like to quickly mention that a scoop. To a scoop and a half would be ideal for 90% of people. It's a bit like hooligan in the sense of it's very user discretionary, mm. as in you could easily justify just doing one scoop and now looking at the stats, which we'll get into shortly, you can see why one scoop would be enough for most people. Well, one scoop, let me just put this out there. If you was to one scoop this, 
it would bring it out to obviously just under a pound a go, like 99.5 pence. Mm. And that actually falls on a four out of five on our scale. Which is really good. Sounds a lot better, doesn't it? So yeah, like I say, and like Craig said, use your discretion. You know what you're going to use. Um, and stay tuned for that at the ingredients section because then you'll work out what you want from this pre-workout. But it doesn't have to be a 1.5, but consistency for us says it has to be. Yeah. So 1.5 out of 5 on the price of this pre-workout. Big label coming up. All right, it's uh, the interesting time and, and where you'll see why this is such a crazy pre-workout. Is we're obviously, Craig, going to base this on two scoops. So... Um, Bear in mind that what we say, you can half if you're going to do that one scoop, but two scoops, just go for it. Tell yeah. me. What is right. that bad boy? <laughs> Bearing in mind, I looked at this at the stats of one scoop and thought, oh, that's quite a well-dosed solid pre. And then Aaron goes, oh, it can be two scoop though. And I'm like, Jesus. All right, fair enough. All right, so first up is AAKG and full scoop, two scoops, six grams. Oof. Alpha keto glutarate, you know, the salt of arginine. It's a major pump um, inducer. Some people say it doesn't work, some people say it does. We've, I personally, I'll be honest, I just always feel like I have had good results from mm. it. You know, you get a, for me, it's more like a dry, nasty pump, that yeah. contraction pump. So, um, you know, it does boost nitric oxide levels within the bloodstream, so it's a main pump ingredient, and you're gonna get, what, six Six grams, grams on the two scoops, which maximum. is a maximal, huge mega dose. You yeah. know, way above average. You could even argue most of these stats at two scoops are going to be just overdosed. You know, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Um, beta alanine, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Eight and a half grams for the two scoops. Wow, it is an old four point two five per scoop times two. Eight and a half grams. That's you know, put it this Hands way, down. put it this way, never seen it that high. No, five's the most you've seen on a max you can take. I saw a 5.8 somewhere. Yeah. But, but 8.5, you're going to be, that's the beta tingles, guys. Do you know that itchy, scratchy, allergic feeling you get from pre-workout? We love it. I know a lot yeah. of people do it. You know, you know when that pre-workout's kicking in. Um, it also helps with endurance in the gym. So you're going to get a, a couple of extra reps. Or in this case, 10 to 15 extra reps yeah. on that max one rep, max bench. Solid, solid dose. Right. I don't know how much you'll actually digest, but... That's hey. true. <laughs> I mean, it's going to ensure you get those tingles, that's for damn sure. Um, next up is citrulline malate at nine grams for the two scoops. Woo! <sighs> hefty, hefty, hefty dose. Solid. Um, you know, that's six grams pure L-citrulline um, with that three extra grams coming in malate acid. Now, that is going to be also responsible for building nitric oxide levels up within the muscle cells, bloodstream, etc. Nasty pumps. Should tie in nice with the AAKG. Mega high dose. It's, it is weird. I'll be honest, it's weird that they put two scoops on here. Yeah, it is. It's almost like they've just said it for the fuck of it, you know, rather than it actually being something you'd need to do. Yeah, strange. But hey, I think that's more for the stim side, so if you want a bit more buzz. Creatine monohydrate, two scoops gets you three grams. Here's a bit lower. That's yeah. the only one. That's one of the only ones you could argue is a bit lower, because three grams is like the minimal yeah. amount you'd want if you was taking a creatine supplement on its own, not in the pre-workout. So it will be responsible for some pumps um, and some improved strength. Um, but it's not a bad dose. No. But when three to five, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But I'd say a one point five in a single scoop would be a low dose. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Next up is taurine at one gram for two scoops. That's about, well, yeah, that's a still a good dose. Yeah. Um, responsible for a bit of mind, muscle sort of power. Um, just pumps as well, isn't it? Yeah, blood flow. Just a jack of all trades it kind is. of amino. Mm. Um, next up is caffeine, and it doesn't say anhydrous, which leads us to believe it's just the normal caffeine. At two scoops gets you 700 milligrams. Again, that's... A lot of people say that's crazy. That's the same as the new formula hooligan. Mad. The only thing we've seen higher than that is the uh, God of War. Centurion Labs God of War, where they had a similar label where you was yeah. like, that looks good at one scoop, and they've just gone, F it, take two. Yeah, just for the hell of it. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if you crash on this pre-workout. Um, next up is Garana. Two scoops gets you 200 milligrams. Christ. It is a bit of a worry, isn't it? Um, that is a good dose of guarana. That's a powerful, powerful form of caffeine, effectively. You know, a major stim. Mm. 
um, more concentrated than caffeine. Yeah, it's going to hit you quicker and harder. Um, next up, another stim. Jesus Christ, rest in peace us. Juggling's whole fruit walnut, 400 milligrams across the two scoops. I don't know how we're going to survive this, guys. Yeah, that's a crazy dose. Um, that's like been likened to the natural uh, world form of DMHA, as you know, a stimulant slash mind boosting, almost illicit uh, substance. But the, the natural form is obviously a lot more mm. acceptable, healthy. Um, it's going to be responsible for the, you know that that huge stim hit and the um, the mind sort of nootropic focus, concentration, coordination, all those things should be heightened, elevated level. Bang. Good dose, solid world, huge dose. Yeah. All right, next up, L-Norvaline, two scoops gets you a hundred, that can't be right, that's a gram. I think that must be a spell mistake on it, just says gram, I think it must mean milligram. Fit a hundred milligrams. No way it's 50 grams, obviously. Oh yeah, how weird. Yeah, it says 50 grams when the scoop ain't even 50 grams, so it's impossible. Inception. Um, Amino acid to boost yeah. arginine, basically. Yeah, Simple pumps. As that. Yeah, it's just going to tie in with the existing pre-aforementioned uh, pumping group. Ugh. Last up on this list is vitamin B3 as niacin, which is... This is taking the piss because that's going to boost the beta alanine. Yeah, effect. they've been showing they work in synergy, the beta uh, tingles. That's why I'm itching my eyeballs now. Yeah. Not that I want to give away the effect, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, rest in peace. All right, that's that part of the label done. Yeah. That's, that's the pump energy complex. So now we're moving into the nootropic mind enhancement blend. I you know, self-explanatory. <laughs> the talk drain over, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, so... Um, we could never pronounce this. We actually got uh, Microsoft Sand to say it for us, but I think it's phosphatidylserine, 160 milligrams. Phosphatidylserine. <laughs> so 320 milligrams across the two scoops. Good dose. Keep rolling with these. Choline bitartrate, 240 milligrams for two scoops. DMAE, 240 milligrams for two scoops. Maca root, 200 milligrams for two scoops. And that is the label, and there is no digestive aid that I can see. But I don't think you necessarily need it because they've overdosed the shy out of it, so it's going to hit you one way or another. Yeah, um, all those four ingredients are going to be responsible for that, like Craig said, that brain-enhancing nootropic element. So they are going to make you um, focus a lot more, get you in the zone, get you ready to kill the weights or whatever exercise it is you're doing on the day. You know, I'm excited to see how the effects are. I have used this before. Um, I've used it on a one scoop basis, so now we've gone for the two, it's going to round off my knowledge um, and be able to deliver to you guys the truth effects. Sweet. So um, We're going to go smash a heavy two hour leg day, so that should be the perfect test for this fucking hardcore pre-workout. <laughs> and then when we get back, we're going to let you guys know what's up. Let's let you in on a little secret, right, babe? Yeah, Mikel, right, let's have it. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit worn out now, I've got to be honest, but we did smash legs to bits. Uh, they are going to hurt tomorrow, I'll tell you that much. Hammered them. So if we start from the beginning like we always do, yeah. beta alanine tingles through the actual roof. Yeah, they were crazy, and what would we expect any less than, what, eight and a half grams, was it? Yeah, eight and a half. Eight and a half grams, that's the highest dose of beta we've done in a single pre-workout, put it that way, yeah. ever that you're allowed um, to do. Yeah, um, so beta tingles were really high. However, the weirdest thing is, I took this at a single scoop, 
And I didn't really feel it the last time, but and today still I did. 4.25 grams of beta, which is a way above average. Yeah, that's strange. Actually. Definitely weigh your scoops though, because like a mega heap scoop is 17 grams. So yeah, um, really heap. Do do make sure you probably weigh it, or you know it is a heap 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 scoop. Yeah, because if you're doing it one scoop, you'll probably find you're underdosing yourself. You'll do like about 14. Four grams. Yeah, yeah, three, three four, four grams. grams. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's start with some negatives of the pre-workout. I think that's only fair to a start because that's how mm. it did start. It was negative to start. It feels like it's just too much to digest. 34 grams is a lot to get in your system with no digestion. We're used to doing balance. like 20 grams and that's a yeah. big serve actually. Like, you know, we do like six, seven, eight, nine grams to 15 grams. The pump special formulas are normally about sitting about 20 yeah, grams. Yeah, middle 20s. So 34 is a huge amount. And boy, do you feel it sitting on the stomach. In yeah. fact, I'll be honest, I did feel sick as anything. Same. Yeah, you do. You pass through a really shitty feeling like uh, half an hour after taking it. But then you have to get through the storm. And then you start getting the benefits of the yeah, pre-workout. Yeah, you do. And um, the beta alanine is nice, you can't deny that. Yeah. It's just the fact that it's a massive stim dunk, uh, dose for two scoops. And we've both argued that scoop and to a scoop and a half would be the sweet spot. Yeah, like 23 or 4 grams, you know, somewhere in there would be yeah. the nice area. Mm -hmm. Absolutely agree. 34 just seems excessive. Especially considering there isn't any digestion specific aids in mm. there like astrogen or biopurine, uh, yeah. or black pepper, well it's black pepper extract isn't it? Which I know isn't the be all end all, but if it can help by like even 5% digestion, that's still gonna help to get that through you. The way we said the, we anal uh, put an analogy together is one minute it's fighting for you, the next it's fighting against you, and it mm. is very, very swinging uh, roundabouts. Like Marmite, yeah, like um, one like set venom. one set you'll smash it, the next set you'll feel sick and bloated. I'll be honest, it yeah. blows your stomach quite a yeah, bit. But I think enough. that's where it is, the 34 grams of like beta and yeah. caffeine. A and lot of pump ingredients digest. sitting in there, like, yeah, a lot. But um, as Craig says, once you fight through that storm, you come to that calm. Yeah, you do start to reap the benefits of it. You know, joints felt healthy, felt powerful, explosive, aggressive loads of energy almost too much that you can't even get it out of your system you know you're just revved up to the max on the fucking rev meter um yeah exactly that I, we cannot cannot say that we didn't smash legs mm. cannot say it and i don't actually feel a crash i was expecting to feel a crash because there's nothing yeah. as far as i can see in there that's like anti-crash no like decaffeine malate no like um theobromine we can only assume it's the new tropic uh, blend that's keeping you going mentally after the stim has left your body but I'd still say we're quite stimmed up, to be fair. I'd say, right, so the way I say it is, um, because of the sick and the, the bad feelings at the beginning, one minute it's like a two out of five, the next it's like a four, four and a half out of five. So we've landed on an overall score, for those reasons, at a 3.5 out of five yeah. on two scoops. Potentially a scoop and a half will be four. Mm. Potentially a scoop will be three. It's a discretionary one again, similar to the price. Find that sweet spot for you. Cause also, yeah. This yeah. Um, there's not many pre's that on max serve will just be too much for us, but this is one of them. Yeah. So if you guys want to go for a pre workout that the review bros struggle with on max serve, then yeah. go for this bad boy. Um, makes you thirsty as hell. Yeah, that's a valid point. Uh, a bit dribbly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Obviously, we're trying to keep these reviews short and sweet, so we're going to land on a three and a half out of five overall yeah. for those reasons. But I do think the adjusting will help. Adjusting, yeah. Take a scoop, work your way up. And just to t discuss all aspects, we mm. did say pump was really good up there. Oh, yeah. Energy was good, but kind of too fluctuating. much. Fluctuating, fluctuating. Yeah, fluctuating goodness. Focus was... Good. Yeah, we got on with it, didn't we? We didn't mm. muck, muck around. We went from one thing to the other. So all of those elements are up there. They're just a bit unpredictable. And um, it, I do think the name Venom fit in for it because it's like you've got this thing in you and you're like, you don't know whether to fight or if it's fighting with you and you just have to um, sort of agree and join forces absolutely. with it. Um, so yeah, that sums up the effects really. 3.5 out of 5 on two scoops for us to review, bros. <laughs> Right. Moving into this final verdict on Mikhail Wright's Venom Power. And this is a very hard to score pre-workout for more than one reason, mm. really. We think we got the weakest flavour, so you know other ones could be a 5 out of 5. However, mm. we got Strawberry Kiwi and gave it a... 
3.25 out of 5 simply based on the mixability wasn't as good as some don't get me wrong we know we we only stirred it with yeah. them, but we do that with all of them yeah it was okay don't get us wrong we weren't chewing bits no but it just it weren't worse. perfect yeah and the flat i just don't like strawberries really and the, uh, mm. it was a nice a bit of nice sourness mm. but if people yeah. who like strawberries you know you'll probably love it yeah exactly and um, i reckon we'd have loved tutti frutti yeah or, uh, um bubble gum yeah so again take that with a pinch of arginine <laughs> maybe go for two. KG, so. Yeah, maybe go for bubble gum. Absolutely. Price? Price, this is where it was a difficulty because we did have to stay consistent and go with a maximum serve, which I would not recommend for probably 90% of people. Yeah. We gave that a 1.5 out of 5 because it drops down to 15 servings, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. And um, then we move into the effects, which subsequently was its highest scoring element mm. um, do check that uh, effects section for reasoning and justification very sporadic pre-workout 3.5 out of 5 and mm. again discretionary on that on all elements discretionary on this one just mentioning actually really quickly that I took like I said I took a single scoop of this on two occasions and both of those occasions I really I'll be honest I really didn't feel it at all mm. I didn't even feel beat or anything however Two scoops was too much. Too much. So yeah. I reckon a scoop and a quarter, like Craig said, 22 to 25 grams would probably be the sweet spot. Yeah, it's like that old saying, if you give a builder um, 500 bricks, but you can only lay 300 in a day, you know, it's going to waste. And I do think that doing two scoops does put too much pressure on you. And on the you stomach. You're not able to too utilize Too much petrol in the engine. That's it, yeah. Flood the engine. All of those analogies, <laughs> all suit this. Um, so that gives a total score of 8.25 out of 15. Again, discretionary price yeah. is something that'll probably be up to quite considerably once you start delving into a scoop to a scoop and a half. Playing around with it. Yeah, it's a play around pre. Yeah. Um, and I'd say that two scoops would be suitable for a steam junkie. Yeah, I would. Almost too Or much. 700 caffeine. Garana. Eight and a half beta. <laughs> Garana. Jugglers. Jugglers 400, you know. DMAE. Have a play around with it, guys. It's a, it's an interesting pre-workout. Definitely unique. You know, there's no doubt about that. Mm. And it's stacked. So, yeah, that's the final verdict summed up. Again, guys, can't thank you all enough for watching along. Do give us a sub if you can. You know, it does mean the world. We are really happy with how we're going. Yeah, things are picking up nicely. It's, it's almost too much, but we love it. So. We love it. And we've got a lot of pre-workouts uh, to honestly review for you guys. Um, I think you all know by now that we do keep things 100. Yeah, no uh, BSing over here. No. Um, and thank you for watching along. And as always, stay stimmed. <laughs>